Hello and welcome back, I'm Sean. Today I'm checking out a lighting system by Zi Yun that I think will definitely up your lighting game for your videos and photos. So let's check it out. So I've been using the Godox SL60W for the longest time and it's my main key light here, but will require a constant power source to power it up. So starting with what I like, Zi Yun has lots of lighting system and in recent years, small lightweight cob LEDs like that have been surfacing a lot. And what I like about this is the portable nature and it's battery powered and even running it at maximum brightness, it will give you about 30 minutes of runtime, which is great. So another thing that I love about this light is that it's extremely bright for its size and comparing it to my big sl 60 W at only 60 watts, this small device can easily pump out about 100 watts of power and more than my SL60W can. So just to give you an example, there's no light now and I'm gonna bounce it off a wall at the side here and this is at minimum 20% uh, power. So you can see it's already lighting up a lot of my face and if I were to tune it up higher, so this is roughly about 50% and this is about 50% and it's like overblowing the scene already and if I were to go higher and this is 100% and if I point it to the top and bounce it off my ceiling you can see that it generates a very soft and nice light as well also this light operates really quietly and it comes with a Dynavort cooling system so it combines a heat sink so you can see in front here there's a lot of heat sink a lot of metal uh, around it and there's also a fan to properly vent air from the system to keep the light cool so another thing that I really love about this method of powering the system where I can easily charge it with a PD Type-C cable supporting upwards of 30 watts of max power via the PD Type-C port or I can also run it via a DC 24 volts cable and if I want to I don't really need to just use the battery I can also plug a type C port 18 watts and above and it's running off that power so a cool feature I get here is to also switch the color temperature and you can see that this is somewhere in the middle here uh, and I can also cool it down so if I were to turn it up to 6500k you can see that it cools down the scene a lot so what I'm going to do now is to turn it all the way to 2700k and you can see it warms up the entire scene a lot and this thing is all in a small package like that super cool so you can see how if you use a light like that to control the scene, it really changes the mood and the tone of the color. So now it gives it a more golden bronze color at 2700 Ks. And if I were to tune it all the way to white, it's going to give a cooler, you know, colder vibe to the entire scene. So I really like this a lot. So I'll put it somewhere in the middle and that gives me a good skin tone uh, for my entire video. And finally, for most LEDs out there, many have very inaccurate lighting color, but the CX100 comes with very accurate lighting with a CRI or color rendering index of 96, which is close to the maximum of 100, meaning you're getting a really accurate rendering of color here, as well as a TLCI or television lighting consistency index of 97, meaning outputs you get from this light requires almost no color correction. So two of the things that I dislike, and I think it's understandable that the entirety of this light is made of plastic, mostly plastic, except for the heat sink area at the front here, which is metal. But I do wish to see more metal construction, at least around the button area, because this is a plastic and it's not really that sturdy type of plastic. So I wish this was a metal knob and all the touch points that we have could be metal, maybe to dissipate heat better as well. So another thing to note, at least in the lighting world, is that this thing doesn't support a V-mount battery. So if you have those batteries lying around, it won't work with this device, but rather you can also power it with a PD charger of 18 watts and above, also via DC cable. So another thing to note here is that the CX100 doesn't come standard with a Bowen mount but instead it uses Zi Yun's own ZY mount so if you want to use it with your standard Bowen mount accessories for all your lightings you will need to buy a separate adapter from Zi Yun uh, which costs around 40 US dollars. But the beauty with this Zi Yun mount is that it's very easy to use and it's very small in size as well so you can just twist this on here and you get yourself a very nice soft box here. So if now I were to turn on the lights here, you get a nice softer diffusion. So the, the light is not as harsh as what you've seen earlier on just now. So it's a little bit softer diffusion, but it's still extremely bright. So if you see, if I were to point it in front, bouncing it off the wall, it gives a very nice, either a warm glow or a cooler glow. So it depends on what I want to do with it. 
So price-wise, this light comes in at a great price and to performance value and it's only 179 US dollars. And if you find value in what you hear and what you see, definitely subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that YouTube algorithm can pick this up. And if you want to buy this lighting system, do check out my links below. So to give you a sense of how bright these lights are, so I'm mounting it next to me so that it can bounce off a wall uh, to give actually some fill light over here in my face. So for most of my days, I will be using this at the lowest power setting and it's mainly, like, like I mentioned, used as my fill light so I can actually bounce this off surface to give me a soft glow on my face. So here you can see an example without a fill light and all I'm using here is my key light which is on top here as well as a small uh, Godox LED that is bouncing off the wall to give some uh, extra light light here. So this is just to give you an example of how the lights actually work in my studio. So now I have my key lights turned off so you can just see all the background uh, lights going on here. So if I were to turn on my key light, so this is how it will look like. So I'll just light uh, one part of my face and secondly I'm going to turn on a smaller bounce light uh, at the front here just to give the entire background a little bit of light. So let's turn that on. So that will give me a little bit more bounce on my face so it's softer and it's also bouncing off the entirety of the room. So what I'm going to do now is also turn on the Ziyun at, at the smallest power setting which is 20%. So this gives me additional fill light here. So if I were to off the front LED, you can see that it turns it off but, but this Ziyun also still continues to give this warm fill light on my face here. And with this two light, what I'm going to do now is to turn off the main key light so you can see how it actually looks like. So now I'm actually lighting myself with a lot of all this fill light. And if I were to turn off the front LEDs here, and this is solely from 20% of the Ziyun coming to my face. So if I were to increase the percentage from the Ziyun itself, so let's go to 100%. Uh, this is how bright the Ziyun is without any other light. So keep in mind that my room started off as peach black and if I were to put the Ziyun onto maximum and this is how bright it is. But of course we're not going to do that because that's just going to make a very bad looking. So what I'm going to do now is to put this uh, Ziyun to the lowest setting. So it's going to provide me with some fill light here and I'm going to turn on my key light. So there you go. And if I want to have the additional bounce of light, I can also turn on the one at the front and it's gonna give me a little bit more fill at the top of my forehead as well as my background. So that's pretty much my lighting setup. So also for my test, the CX100 here from the Ziyun gives me around four stops of compensation at only 20% power. So meaning I can up my shutter speed from one over 50 at F2 all the way to one over 1000 at F2. So at maximum brightness, so if I were to boost this all the way to the maximum and I can have a whopping of six stops of compensation, all the way to 1 over 3200, so very impressive. So from a design standpoint, I'm really loving the design and look of this light. So in the box itself, you're going to get the light unit itself. You're also going to get the mini reflector as well as the uh, soft box at the front here. So you get a diffusion dome as well as the reflector. So you can mount it onto your system and it's extremely small. And at the front here, you're going to see the main corp light, which is huge. And you can see comparing it to my finger. And at the front surface, you're also going to see a semi-opaque plastic in a smoke black color. And you can actually see the heat sink and the fan unit that is running inside. Uh, you're also going to get a 100 watts branding there. So behind the light, you're going to see a vent for your airflow to vent air out of the system. A red button as the on-off button at the back here, as well as four LEDs here uh, that you can see if I were to turn the power here, you can see it adjust it as well but that also shows you the battery percentage of your system so at the bottom here this is where the battery unit actually sits and with this it also provides you a very comfortable grip if you want to hand hold your light for certain scenes so at the side here you're going to see two different knobs and at the top one here you're going to see the color temperature control from 2700 uh, which is very warm all the way to 6500 which is very cold and the bottom one is the output percentage and how strong you want the light to be. So this is off, this is 20%, and this is all the way at 100%. So at the bottom of the light, you're going to get two quarter inch tripod mount so you can mount this to any standard light stand, just have to remove the screw cover uh, and you can thread it in or uh, you can also mount it on a ball head mount so that you can tilt this around. And next to that is also a flap and inside you're going to see your PD type C charging port as well as the DC port to charge up the light. 
So as mentioned, the front here is running a ZY mount at the front and it's really simple to use, very compatible to all of Ziyun's own light modifiers and accessories. And to screw it on, it's as simple as lining it up and clicking it into place. So overall, I'm very excited to add this to my collection of lighting for my studio and it definitely adds a layer of portability and functionality to my setup. And if you do a lot of remote shoots and want something small and light to quickly pull out and use, this is definitely one for you to consider. And if you want to check out my latest video that I actually used it to Yun CX100 as a fill light to light up, you can also check out this video right over here and I'll see you over at that video.